Hello, welcome to lesson five. It's really not a lesson, it's a view of the editor that I have up for you. That It's a free editor. It's a beta editor and that's why you get to get it for free. But it's a really good little editor and um, has a lot to offer. And so I highly recommend it because I'm keeping it. And even though I have front page, I really like this. There are some things that I can, can't can do in front page that I can do in here automatically. So I definitely like this little editor and the whole thing, the best thing about it, it's free. So it's um, worth getting even if um, just to practice with if you're not doing the lessons go ahead and get one and uh, uh, practice with an editor and if you download it go ahead and make sure that you run a scan I did I have Norton if you can see down here I have Norton and so I did run a scan on it before I downloaded it I mean before I opened it into my computer and it was clear but I recommend that you go ahead and do yours as well um, don't uh, you'll see the check boxes of what to install into your computer you don't have to install the toolbar the toolbar will go into your Internet Explorer or whatever and I really don't recommend doing any toolbars unless you know who what they are you know I just just don't do it I never do I only have Google and that's about it so <laughs> um, so you can uncheck that whatever you don't want to in install and it and it won't install it so we're gonna get started I'm gonna show you a little some of the fe features of this editor so go to to get you started you go to new page and it will open up your work area this is your editor this is where you'll do all your work right here this is your source this will give you your code and this is your preview this is where you'll pre preview your page in and how it will look in your browser and you got a split screen where you'll be able to preview your page and the code at the same time so we're going to um, work in the editor this is your tables this is how you do your tables and it the table wizard will show you um, as you're changing these settings how your table is gonna look I'm just gonna mess around here and uh, give you some settings and I'm gonna say a border of five and you can see that it shows you what it's gonna look like before you add it to your um, page so I'm going to hit cancel because I don't want it to add. And I'm going to pause real quick. My dog's whining at the door. Sorry about that. Okay, now I want to, I said, uh, the, yeah, we was at the editor. That's how you view. So that's a good thing before you add it to your page. Now we're going to go to um, page properties. And this is where you'll add your title to your page, and you can see mega tag, appearance, links, and heading. This is where you'll add your title to your page, author, owner, copyright rating, and all that. Everything you add here, and then you click on appearance. This is where you'll add your main background right here, um, the one right here. And this is your font style, font size, color, your, your what color you're going to use your font. You want it to repeat if you want it to go all the way down your page. And if you don't want to use a URL for your background here or a tile background, you can use this right here and pick a color. And I'll do go ahead and do that right now so it can show you. And I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to hit Apply. And you see behind me that the background changed. OK, I'm going to hit OK. Now to view, you have your view. Uh, view button right here but you also have them right here format this is um, your font your font size your font style your font color and um, your upper and lower case your page color you can change the page color right here too um, scroll bar color um, you can go ahead and change your scroll, scroll bar color here instead of adding the code um, for it you can automatically do it here and then uh, uh, pick colors and it automatically changed for you and uh, we'll be doing that in our lesson for the HTML lesson and um, we also will be doing uh, let's see we have different things we'll be doing a table and there's your image insert image insert rollover image and you have your different uh, stuff right here and then you have a form uh, to, to insert a form Let's see, I want to go back here to insert 
you can insert an iframe. We will be inserting an iframe in our HTML lesson, and we'll also be inserting a marquee in our HTML lesson. I didn't insert the date and time, but this is something that you can do if you want to do it. Go ahead, and it automatically put the date and the time in there. And let's see, you have uh, insert, I mean, auto fit, insert row, insert column. And you have, like I said, your form, your tools, and everything right here. Plus, you have them on your toolbar. You can scroll across, across it, and it'll tell you what they are. So get familiar with your editor, and um, um, we'll be starting on on our HTML lesson. So we, I will see you there. And also, this is to how you view it, if you want to view it in um, Foxfire, if you want to view it in IE. So um, get familiar with your editor and then start the HTML lesson, and I know you'll enjoy it. Like I said, we're going to add a couple new things to, to the HTML lesson, like the iframe and the marquee, and I think you're really going to like that. So... Um, I look forward to getting started, which I already did them for you, so I'm just going backwards. <laughs> so, uh, But I look forward to seeing your work. So post a link to your document page once you, um, to, once you uh, do your page. You know, once you do your page and upload it to your documents, send me a link so I can see it. So we'll see you at the HTML lessons. Bye.